Hello and welcome to the virtual live stream concert of Breathing in the Shadows. My name is Parmita Vand and I'll be your host for this evening. We are so excited to welcome you to this concert, celebrating the works of Canadian composer Salman Shahi, these three song cycles that he's written, released by Canadian label Leaf Music. This record dates back to two years ago in 2018 when this whole project started as a commission by Canadian soprano Maureen Bat, uh, which was the first song cycle, Breathing in the Shadows. From there, the concept of the album grew into a collection of Salman's vocal works featuring poetry from women poets around the globe. The works in this piece include themes of isolation, belonging, and the gray areas of human relationships. Given our current circumstances, these speak volumes to our purpose and our determination as a collective. Despite our restrictions under the pandemic, this group of musicians with Leave Music was determined to bring you this live stream tonight in celebration of the release. We are hugely privileged to have the support of the incredible staff from Leaf Music supporting this show, as well as our music communities in Halifax and Ontario who have made this whole thing possible. At the end of the show, a full list of the donors, sponsors, and personnel will be announced. Tonight's performance will be a selection of songs from each song cycle, as well as a few interviews with some of the artists involved in the project. After the show, you can go check out the whole album on all major streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music, as well as head over to leaf-music.ca or amazonmusic.com to purchase a physical copy of the CD. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the first performance. Our first performance of the night is two works from the cycle Breathing in the Shadows, sung by Maureen Batt with Tara Scott on piano. This work was initially created through a creation grant from the Ontario Arts Council in 2018. This work contains five songs with poetry from female poets from around the globe in languages such as Farsi, Spanish, Bulgarian, and English. The powerful poetry of these amazing poets, along with a heartfelt performance from Maureen Bat, will create quite an experience. The first piece is Fevered Ashes with poetry by Iranian poet Farouk Farouksad. And after that, you will hear The Girls Are Still Laughing featuring poetry by Nigerian-Canadian poet Tetelope Sonuga. Thank you. 
Well, that was quite a powerful performance. Thank you, Maureen and Tara. Next up, we have one of the songs from the song cycle, Orbit, sung by Fabian Arseniegas and joined by the composer himself on piano. This cycle contains three songs featuring the poetry of Canadian singer and songwriter Yelena Church. And tonight you'll be hearing Another Coffee. This cycle also came to life when Salman and Febian participated in a song slam competition in New York in 2017, and Salman composed Smile, one of the other songs in this cycle. From there, the collaboration between the two of them grew through various performances resulting in this song cycle. Please note that in the album, Tara Scott is the collaborative pianist for this cycle. Here is another coffee. Another coffee as the dark rounds out the day. Milk clouds the cup and drinks the edges of the sky. Another coffee. It's been consistent Circles round the center I've been consistent Circles round the center I'm so happy now to sit with Fabian and Salman to chat a little bit about this cycle and their collaboration. Guys, thank you for the lovely performance. It was beautiful. It's a very intimate feeling uh, and very complimentary to Breathing in the Shadows. So I'll turn to Salman first. Uh, what, what, what are you trying to express with this cycle? What does it mean to you? And I want to also ask you if you consulted Yelena at all while you're working on this cycle? So uh, Yelena and I, we kind of go back to, to our undergrad in terms of our, our friendship and our history. And we did quite a few musical collaborations together. Um, but a few, years, a few years ago, she started actually writing her own poetry and she moved to Iceland and she does a lot of sort of her own uh, solo shows there. And uh, when Fabian actually approached me a couple years ago about a competition in New York that we were gonna we were going to perform together, and I thought, oh, it's a perfect opportunity for me to work on one of her poetries, uh, poems. And, 
and yeah, so she sent me a bunch of her poems, and we talked about the subject matter, which they they are mostly sort of concerning um, uh, human relationships and the gray areas and uncertainties revolving around human relationships, and she, I think she captures that that sense uh, quite beautifully and quite uh, eloquently. So, what was that like for you? The process of kind of having the cycle come together collaboratively. It was a little bit strange at the beginning because the poetry is something that it was new for me, like that type of, I don't know, it's like very uh, European, but it like, you know, like uh, Norwegian, like that sense, that feeling that it's not very close to me. So it was really interesting for me to try to see, like to approach that, that poetry. And it was uh, obviously incredible because Saman knows how to write for the voice. Mm -hmm. So it's easy, it's always easy, so you can really paint more with colors. Awesome. I, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed you know, collaborating with him too on this. Because uh, we're always, we're always sort of rehearsing cool. together and he goes, maybe I can, if I can do that part that way. And then we, we change things. So there's always that flexibility and sort of that sense of camaraderie here. Sounds like that was a really great collaborative process. Uh, so Salman, is there anything else you want to tell us about this cycle or the album on the whole? Yeah, uh, so first of all I have to thank uh, Leaf Music, uh, the label that produced and re uh, distributed the album, Jeremy, Jeremy Van Slyke, who's the producer, uh, and also Maureen Bat, um, because they were the main proponents of this album and they, they, uh, they brought this on and they brought it to, to life. Uh, and also all the funders, the Canada Council, uh, Ontario Arts Council, Toronto Arts Council, and Factor. Um, I, this album is very special to me and I'm, I'm very, very grateful and lucky to have been able to bring this to life because this, every single piece of music on this, uh, on this album uh, has something very personal about my journey as both an artist and an immigrant. And I think it's also very important that uh, um, all of the poets in this, uh, in this album are women and many of them are women of color and women of uh, different ethnicities and their voices are also being projected through this album and I think that's also a very valuable thing. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy that this music can now get out there and hopefully um, make, make a difference in the community. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much. Bye guys. Bye. And now we turn our attention to the East Coast where Maureen Bat, Tara Scott, and Leaf Music owner and this album's producer Jeremy Van Slyke are joining us for an interview. Hi everyone! Hi! So let me start with Jeremy. Uh, what drew you to someone's music? Is there anything in particular about this project that wanted you to produce this album? Uh, I was introduced to Salman's music through Maureen, actually. She has, uh, for several years, been championing new vocal music, uh, especially Canadian vocal music, through a series called Crossing Borders. And I first heard uh, the, the piece Fevered Ashes from the cycle uh, Breathing in the Shadows. And uh, it was the first time I had recorded or, or heard an art song in Farsi before. And uh, certainly the beauty of that language and the inventiveness of the, of the writing, it obviously suited Maureen very well. And we had already I worked with her on her debut album, uh, Lady of the Lake, and this felt like a good project for all of us to uh, uh, continue that. Thank you, Jeremy. And Maureen, you've worked with Salman before. Walk us through the experience of creating this cycle. Back in 2015, Salman actually submitted Fevered Ashes to a call for scores that I had for Crossing Borders. And after the premiere of Fevered Ashes in 2016, we started talking about making a song cycle together. Of course, he would be composing. But we started grant writing together and talking about the idea of these different poets and some themes. And then I had a song cycle written for me by someone. And we premiered that with Crossing Borders in 2018. And then we started talking about doing this recording. And I wouldn't just like to say here we are because there were many steps in between, but it has been an absolutely wonderful collaborative process from start to finish. And I'm feeling really lucky to be here and to be part of this project. Thank you, yeah. And Tara, you played on the majority of the album. What are your thoughts on how Salman writes for piano, him being a pianist himself? Well, I think as a pianist, Salman has a knowledge of the instrument that allows him to really exploit the characteristics and the qualities of the instrument. 
um, in particular thinking about fevered ashes, his use of registration, the fact that it uses the highs and the lows of the instrument, the full range. Um, in El Miedo, the filigree work that fits so well under the hands, um, so beautifully written and creates that gorgeous wash of sound that we think of with the piano. Mm. Um, and in the third song... Don't come near me. Thank you, don't come near me. Um, the use of using inside the piano to create those effects. Um, I think my favorite example is probably in The Girls, mm. um, in that beautiful interlude in the middle where he uses the middle register of the piano to make it sound like the piano is singing. Such gorgeous writing for piano. Very interesting. Well, thank you guys all for joining us from Nova Scotia. Uh, we hope that music making in person can resume in the very near future. Bye. 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 And now onto the final performance of tonight's concert. The third cycle in this album is titled Songs of a Wandering Soul and was created through the generous support of the Canadian Council for the Arts. The cycle draws on Salman's experiences as a new immigrant in his teen years, and it includes short selections from his diary. The instrumentation in this piece is quite different from the other two. Electric bass, percussion, woodwinds, and strings. There also seems to be quite a lot of genres and aesthetics that emerge in the course of this work. This cycle has three movements, and tonight we will be listening to the third movement, entitled The Mirrors Never Lie. The singer in this cycle is Tiffany Hanus, who is primarily a jazz singer and composer based in Toronto. She has sent us a short video about her general impression of the cycle and her experience working with Salman in the creative process. Here is Tiffany. It was such an exciting process recording Songs of a Wandering Soul. As Salmon connected a group of musicians that all come from various backgrounds and perform different styles of music, uh, which I think was necessary for a song cycle like this one. And Salmon is a wonderful collaborator. He is the type of composer that knows how to give direction and articulate what he really wants um, in such a way that inspires the performer. Uh, he also knows how to leave uh, it up to the musician. We had moments of improvisation throughout and truly makes it an enjoyable experience for everyone involved. And now on to The Mirrors Never Lie.
And with that, we conclude tonight's release concert of the Breathing in the Shadows album. We would like to send our most sincere thank yous to all who have lended a hand during the creation and recording process of this album. We also want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Remember, Breathing in the Shadows is available on all major streaming services, including iTunes and Spotify, and also available for physical purchase on Leaf Music's website, leaf-music.ca, and on Amazon Music. Before we leave, we would also like to acknowledge the generous financial assistance from the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council, Toronto Arts Council, and Foundation Assisting Canadian Talent on Recordings, Factor. Thank you for making the recording of this project possible. We would also like to thank all the musicians and personnel who have helped us in bringing this album to life. Our producer, Jeremy Van Slyke, our label, Leaf Music, our singers, Maureen Batt, Tiffany Hanus, Fabian Arseniegas, our instrumentalists, Tara Scott, Natalie Wong, Cheryl Okrant, Peter Lutek, Scott Peterson, and Derek Gray, our recording engineer, Puya Hamidi, our photographer and Toronto videographer, Reza Sasani, and lastly, our cover artist, Heather Sita Black. Once again, thank you for tuning in and celebrating the release of the album. We wish you all health and joy. Thank you, and have a good night. <laughs>